Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Mega Man Legends. In the last video, we finished all the side quests and we also did some mine development, got a shit ton of stuff, and now I'm completely dark. And now it's time for us to continue the game. We've pretty much done everything else on the island except for the main story. So, let's go ahead and jump on it. See, throughout the island there are three gates like this that opened up. So we're gonna go ahead and go in this first one. Let's see what the deal is. Okay, so basically there are three keys we need to find to open up the central gate, which is basically the inner sanctum, so to speak, of the uh, main gate. And so what we're gonna do, so the only way to get these keys is that we have to kill all of the Reaver bots that are here in this underground area, despite the fact that we see have a space sky or something like that. These guys are not to be trifled with. These Reaver bots can act, are actually starting to get really tough. So that's why circling these guys is the best method of dealing with them. These guys have a lot of life too. They also give a drop a good amount of zenny if you want some zenny hunting of some kind. Though we don't really need it anymore, but I might check the junk shop one last time just in case they added some buster parts at like the last second or something. Start dropping this bastard. Ow, son of a bitch. Okay, I couldn't get away from that guy. Okay, can you stop? Can you not? Can you not? Okay. Okay, he's dead. I'm gonna grab this health real quick. That way I can at least survive the next hit if I ever get hit. Okay, uh, let me refresh my recording real quick. Okay, I'm back. So now we gotta kill the rest of these Reaver bots. Yeah, it's just I was looking at my recording and it was looking pretty choppy. So that's why I had to decide to refresh it real quick. But it prob it's probably not gonna be choppy in the final result, but it just kinda looked that way when I was checking it. Oh man, he's firing the shotgun all up in this bitch. Give me some health, please. And you did not. Great. Luckily, if you have good energy, and if you have really good energy, then you can pretty much just like keep these guys in place. They literally cannot touch you because you're doing so much damage to them. Well, it looks like we did it. Well, here's the door. Sleeper key. Got it. I better get back to the surface. All right then. So that's one key down. Two more to go. Okay. Just so I'm just so I'm playing it safe here, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and save because in case I don't have to try and do this again, I'm gonna have data heal me. All right, saving. All right, you're gonna talk to Roll. All right, let's go to the next. Let's go to the next uh, sub gate or the next sub city. Excuse me. Don't mean to get my terminology wrong. Jeez, why you do's that? Anyway.
Even though you guys have not seen the special weapons yet, before we head towards the end of the game, after we do these three subsidies, I'll show all of the special weapons off. That way you guys can kind of have a better understanding of how they work. But here's the next subsidy. Uh oh, it looks like there's a boss in this one. Check out this guy. Now this guy, he, uh, he likes to spawn enemies out of his rear because he's basically like a train car. Or basically, a, just pretty much just a train. Every time you shoot his rear, he goes a little bit faster and you kind of have to wait for him to open his rear again. But his defense isn't that high, so he gets kind of, he take he takes a fair bit of damage from getting hit by Max Buster shots. Yeah, this is how this fight's gonna go. Make sure you try to kill the Reaver bots he shoots out. That way, they're not causing you any trouble. Because like he's spawning Reaver bots that will pretty much like take all of your life away, like these red guys right here. Not from the shots they deal, but just due to physical contact. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's one section gone. Where are you running? Get out of my face, you evil bot. They get wrecked by my max buster power. And if, if there's any kind of wondering about this, no, being darker does not make you stronger. It just looks cooler. Ow, shit. I was looking at the recording to see how I was doing, and I suddenly got myself whacked. We're starting to whittle him down. It's not as fast as anyone would like it, but hell, I mean, it works. Alrighty. He's almost dead. One more, okay, one more. If he opens his butt one more time, then we're good. This fight's really easy. Oh, one more? Are you kidding me? This is like a small sliver of health left. I'm gonna poke you in the ass. Poke. And he's out of there. Huh? That sounded like a door opening somewhere. I okay, where? Ah, oh, here it is. Always look for the big building with an actual doorway. And here we go. Dreamer key. That's two. Just one more. Two down, one to go. So let's go ahead and head back up to the surface. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and call a roll. And we're going to go ahead and head to Old City. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my energy and save again. Just so, just in case I might die going into this last, this last sub-city. Okay. All right then, that's done. And here is the last subsidy gate. So 
a little bit darker down here. Also, we got another one of these, a few more of these guys. Shit. Okay. That was kind of stupid. I don't even know why I'm picking up the Zenny. I don't need it. You guys are kind of everywhere, aren't they? Oh crap, I almost ran into that guy. Why are these guys even down here? These are like early stage enemies. And yes, you do have to kind of destroy the controller for those guys too. Okay. Alright then. Oh crap, don't come close to me. I'm walking forward while shooting so I can like condense my shots and just hit him a few more or just hit kill him quicker. Not that I'm sure if that's how it works, but whatever. He got wrecked. I'm going to see if there are any controllers around here that I might be missing. Okay, no, I don't see any. Oh, there's one. Okay, yeah, it's over there. Okay, then. Can I get away from it? So it doesn't, when it dies, it doesn't hurt me. Okay. Practically almost done now. I already destroyed that one's controller. Now, where is the last enemy? There you are. Well, don't you look all calm and peaceful trying to shoot me with your straight line bullets that I can easily just strafe around. Huh? That sounded like a door opening somewhere. I better take a look around. Alrighty then. You found Watcher Key. There. This should be the last key. Now all I have to do is open the central gate. Alright, so believe it or not, this central gate area is actually the final area of the game. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, call the roll up. We're going to have Data heal us real quick. And then we're going to take the support car to the main gate. Now, before we head into the final area, I want to show off the special weapons. That way you guys can kind of have a better understanding of how they work, because, I mean... Because, I mean, it's pretty cool watching how they work. So, let's start from our hand and work our way down. First, we've got the Machine Buster. I'm probably just going to, like... Well, I don't know. I can't test it here. Um, oh, wait, I know where I can test it. Derp. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, card on forest. But sadly, roll has to go back into the thing every time. I think I might, just for the sake of consistency, I probably just might cut parts out like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip our machine buster, because that's the first thing we're going to look at. As you can see... Our energy bars right down the right. It basically fires sh 
shots like this. It's a machine gun. It's pretty much all there is to say about it. Makes sense. Okay, then. Okay, and next we have the Power Buster. Sorry if you guys can't see the picture of pictures of them. It's because since I'm I'm dark, I can't really you can't really say them. But okay, so here's the powered buster. Basically, does what you expect. It fires a freaking big blast like a freaking cannon, like so. The explosion kind of hits multiple times, so that's kind of a cool thing. And the next one, we've got the drill arm, which we've already ex established. The grenade arm. Now this one's pretty self-explanatory as well. It basically just lets you throw a freaking bomb that it like kind of bounces on the ground for a bit and then it explodes. You can kind of change the distance of the throw by looking. And stuff like that. But it's no big deal. And then next we got the Spread Buster. You guys are really going to like this one. Basically take the grenade arm. Put it in, in Buster form. And then times it by a multiplier like that. This thing pretty much can wreck face. Like so. Like, spread those shots out. Stuff like that. So that's the spread buster. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. Alright, now we've got the vacuum arm. Can't believe I'm actually going to physically just show this one off. But basically what it does is that whenever you see money on the ground, just kind of go at a distance or whatever and just be like... And just use the vacuum and just pull it in. That's pretty much all there is to it. It basically just pulls in Zenny that you can't just grab all at once. Really nice feature, nonetheless. Okay. Next we have the Active Buster, the most expensive. I said like 1.2 million back when I was uh, talking about how the uh, upgrades for this thing worked was actually like 1.7 million, but you guys already knew that by reading the info. So this thing, it basically fires a small, a very small missile that basically causes an explosion that hits multiple times. Now don't underestimate this thing. This thing is costs 1.7 million to max out for a reason. This is, this is a dropping gun. That's the best way I can put it. Okay, so next on our list, we have the blade arm. I'm actually going to enhance the range of that just to kind of show some, just to kind of show this off. So I'm just going to enhance it just a little bit, not take up too much time. So what this does is it makes it creates a saber that you swing, but if you increase the range, you see that little wave you send out, so it kind of actually has a bit of distance. It also sounds like a toy sword. It's got to be like the fakest sound for a sword I've ever heard. Wee! It literally sounds like a sword toy. Okay, and next we've got the grand grenade. This thing has, like, not a whole lot of energy, but it is kind of meant for crowd control. It's basically kind of like the spread buster, but put all into one grenade, like that. Really powerful. It can destroy those square block, those square walls that you can, that are cracked or whatever. Like, because there's, there's, there's cracked walls and there's, like, cracked, like, columns, which we've broken before. It had the holes hidden behind them, but, yeah, uh, uh, aside from that. Anyway next weapon we've got on our list is the splash mine this is the first special weapon we got I never got to show it off though so what it does it basically puts a mine on the ground puts mines on the ground and then after a, either so, an enemy steps over them or after a certain amount of time they'll just kind of just self detonate 
But yeah, it's pretty much the first weapon for a reason. Let's just keep it at that. Alright. Next we've got the shield arm. A special weapon purely meant for defense, though personally I've never used it. Basically when you act when you use it like this, yeah. It basically puts a shield in front of you. Pretty much all there is to it. But yeah, you can increase the size of the shield by increasing its special, I believe. Okay, and now for the final one, the Shining Laser. Alright then. Now, this is the strongest weapon in the game in my opinion. Fires a laser like this. You can't move while firing it, but... If you upgrade this thing pretty much to max, then it's it's a dropping gun. It's probably like a dropping gun mark too. But anyway, we have finished showing off all the special weapons. Go ahead and get another look at the list, so we can all see that they're there. So we can see that we've completed the list. I don't know why I said list like five times. Also got all the buster part. We got all these buster parts. We've done a lot in this game, but now it's finally time to end it. So let's go ahead and get in here, and we're going to go into the main gate. So I'm going to take the support card of the main gate, and I'm going to have, and I'm going to save it data one more time. Alright then. Alright. It's time. Let's head into the main gate. Time to head to the central gate. Might as well use our roller skates to get down there. And I probably want to slow it up because there is one point where there's two of these guys. Okay, screw you, buddy. And we're still going down. You notice how it's getting brighter and brighter the further we go down. Kind of ominous. But here we go. The central gate. The final area of the game. Huh? There's some writing. Watcher. What is that supposed to mean? Use the watcher key. The second door. What is this? It reads, Sleeper. Use the sleeper key. The third door. What does this one say? Dreamer? Use the dreamer key. Boy. And what the hell is this? What's happening to me? This is the first time I've ever been here, but I feel like I've seen this before. Something is telling me there's danger here, that it shouldn't be opened. It's a man? A person? Was it you who awoke me? It is somewhat earlier than I had planned, but no matter. Thank you for awakening me. 
Hmm. Have we met before? Oh, please forgive me. You are a purifier model, assigned to the direct command of Mother. As I recall, you were designated Mega Man Trigger. Please forgive me. I did not recognize you in your current configuration. You... you know me? You don't remember? Ah, I see. You have suffered memory loss, yes? Then for what purpose have you awakened me? I assume... that your reason for coming here is to purge the carbons that have overpropagated during the time I was inactive. Carbons? Purge? What are you talking about? According to Urban Military Security Ordinance A10, the number of carbon units is not allowed to increase beyond the pre-specified limit. If this happens, they are to be purged immediately. My observation, if left unattended, the carbons will reproduce indefinitely. Their numbers will grow, polluting the surface world. They can be quite a nuisance. Carbons? Do you mean the people on the island? The carbons fit mass population model B. They are unstable, very difficult to control. Perhaps it would be better to simply reinitialize. Reinitialize? Well, I haven't understood much of what you've been saying, but when you say reinitialize, do you mean no? This is quite regrettable. It would be much simpler if I had the assistance of a proficient unit, such as yourself. Once my task is complete, I shall inquire as to the presence of a backup of your memory on Eden. Until then, please remain where you are. Yes, until then. What? It's a... Did you hear that, Diesel? Yep. Something tells me he's not kidding either. I really think he plans to kill everyone on the island. Diesel, we've got to do something. We've got to stop him. Hmm. That's easier said than done. Besides, do you think we could beat him? Well, um... What about Mega Man? Hmm. I don't like it, but I can't think of anything better, so... Oh, here's a problem. Hey, Trom! How do you stop this thing? Oh, this? Like this! Mega Man, are you all right? Uh, thanks for your help. Come on, hurry up! He's getting away! Right. It's not over between you and me. I won't forgive you if you die or anything stupid like that, so be careful in there, okay? Right. See you later. Don't worry, Tron. If anyone can do it, he can. I know. So here we go. Now we're actually now we're in the central gate, the final area of the game. Ow, shit. Would you uh this freaking dick. Are you see you guys seeing this, right? So let me just get up in your face. I won't let you do a damn thing. Freaking prick. I thought you better give me some health, god damn it. Okay. If we open this chest here, we probably get the best buster part in the game, Power Stream. So now, I'm going to go ahead and set up my buster parts for the final time. I'm going to put on the Power Stream. I'm going to have Auto Battery. And I'm also go and I'm going to have Rapid Striker, wherever it is. Here it is. That way our buster fires like this. We don't need the range anymore. Watch out for the gold ones. They used to be bad when they were freaking like a navy blue. Now they're gold. I suppose that's like ten times worse.
Ooh. You can feel the tremendous energy em emanating from the refractor. It's being held in place by some kind of powerful force. It appears as if the entire main gate uh, is under the control of Mega Man Juno. Okay. Let's just go past these guys because they're just nothing but stupid kamikaze reaver bots. Okay, this is a dead end. Just taking a look around, make sure I'm not missing anything. Not that there's really anything to miss. This is pretty much the end this is pretty much the end game. And here we go. The final door. To think it just came and gone just like this. Well, we've come a long way, haven't we? It would have been nice if we could have just kept on living in peace with the Professor and Roll, but I guess we've got to do what we've got to do, right? Mega Man Juno's waiting for you inside. Okay. So we're going to save. Alright then. So... In the next video, the final battle. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the finale. Till then, see you then. Because this is probably going to be the hardest fight in the entire game.